Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time we're going to be playing Tunnels of Despair. In this, we're going to be playing as an individual who is trapped in an underground subway system that's long been abandoned, and we need to try to evade some creatures that have taken up residence, and we need to try to escape to the surface. Looks pretty good. People seemed overall pretty happy with this. Uh, apparently it has a nice balance of atmosphere, a little bit of a jump scare factor, and just really is interesting. And this actually looked pretty good. I think I got it, I think it currently sells for $3. I think I might have gotten it on sale for like 2 And I figure a couple hours worth of gameplay is about the time that people said it had, so should be worth it. So let's go ahead and just dive right on in. So, difficulty. Um... Easy has immortal monsters are disabled and appear in only one of the endings, or normal, I guess is just normal, which will have immortal monsters. Okay. So I do know that there is some sort of like a combat system in the game, because one of the controls when I was looking at him, it did say to fire. So there is gonna be something that we can go ahead and use to or I think I think it was like inner or I think it was attack or something, not necessarily fire. So presumably we'll get a gun or like an axe or a pipe or something we can use to bash monsters to death. And that was interesting, he said Immortal Monsters only appear in one of the endings. So does that imply that there's multiple endings to this game? Hmm. Okay. You were sent to check on a long abandoned underground tunnel, which at first appeared to be a standard task. Unfortunately, during the inspection, the tunnel's old arches gave out and collapsed. By some miracle, you managed to hide in a tiny side room and avoid being crushed to death. The way out is blocked, all of your stuff is on the other side of the fall. Hopefully, you'll find a way out behind the one and only door you see. Alright, so far so pretty fucked up way to start. Your flashlight loud footsteps or the noises will attract the wanted attention. You can crouch and turn off the flashlight to move stealthily. Okay, so that's just telling us controls. Inventory. Oh yeah, so I actually changed the inventory from I to tab because that just feels better to use when you're playing on a keyboard. Uh, contains quests and notes. To use an item, food, or weapon, click on its icon. Green fan items are unique. Okay, so this is actually fairly complicated. Alright, the icons are showing where you're pointing at. Okay, so you can interact, you can fill up water, which will fill up your hunger meter, so I guess that's the thing in the top right. And then sleeping saves your game and restores progress. Wow, okay, this game has a lot to it. Okay, the tunnel has collapsed, there's no way back. Now, does this flashlight have a battery of any kind? Okay, and that's just notes. Alright. And let me, let me just see something. If I hit F1... Okay, so the help thing isn't like a hint. It's just a... Yeah, what is this place? Good question. Yeah, so F1 isn't like a hint as to what to do. It's basically just reiterating your controls. Okay. What is this? Canned food, no labels. The used by date is nowhere to be found either. Well, I mean, as long as the can itself is intact, it'll probably be okay. Might be stale, but yeah, it should be fine in terms of like bacteria and shit getting into it. But don't take that for my, don't take my word on that. Please, for the love of God, if you find random like canned goods that seem safe and you're, oh boy. Yeah, and you're just like, hey, Boundless said to go try it. Please don't do that. That's a terrible idea. I am in no way, shape, or form like qualified to give survival advice or anything like that. Okay, so that's probably the game. Oh no, okay, okay yeah, but I probably can't go back up there, so that's probably the game's way of making me, like, get stranded down here. Anything? Okay. Yeah, this is very clearly an Unreal game. It has, like, that Unreal station. Great, there must be an exit. Oh, goody. Uh, yeah, it has, like, that Unreal kind of shimmer or glisten on things. Oh, wow, that's a hell of a sprint, Jesus Christ. Yeah, wow. You fucking go just pounding forward, and then, yeah, it looks like your stamina depletes pretty quickly. Uh, what are you then? You're a s kvass? The label on this jar says this beverage is called kvass. Isn't that like a carbonated beverage of some kind? I think I remember seeing that in DayZ. Oh wow, this is dark as fuck, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I didn't realize exactly how fucking dark this game was gonna be, holy hell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Daisy has, like, Kavas as some drinkable item in there. Hi. Okay. How long has she been lying here? What an awful smell. Yeah, let's not approach her because I know that, like, one of the enemies in the game is apparently some sort of a zombie-like creature. Yeah, so I'll, I'll actually, I'll be curious to see how the, uh, how the stealth mechanic works. What happened here? I don't fucking take a guess, man. We've been brought to an out-of-operation underground line. 
How could this have happened? All of the sealed doors got shut in an instant. The people were panicking. We reached the head of the train only to find the engine been dead. Now we're waiting to be rescued. I'm going to write down everything that happens to me. Maybe it'll help me understand what's going on here. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, who is that? I'm not alone here. Collect all the notes and find the exit. Inspect Tokarev Street Station. Okay, so this was obviously made by Russians with names like that. Um... So my objective is actually to find all of the notes. Oh, goody. So does this mean that there's now going to be a threat? Am I now in danger? I kinda hope not. Yeah, you know, I know uh, Metro did have a little bit of like a spooky element to it, but I honestly think that, by and large, there's not a lot of games that do a really good job of having creepy as hell subway systems. Like, I, I'm sure that there's some, and people will probably, you know, people will probably come up with some. Like, I know, uh, what was it? It was Condemned had a pretty creepy subway system. Again, you know, the Metro games have pretty creepy looking subway systems in some areas, even though those are much more action heavy. Oh dear. Ah, shit. Okay, hopefully nothing heard that and is coming to say hello. No? Okay. Yeah, and I, I'm sure there's like some indie titles that I just haven't played or encountered that somehow have that, but yeah, overall I feel like there's you can do some really cool things with these types of environments. You know, you can also do some really terrible things, like that fucking game, what was it called? Tomorrow, I think it was, the one where you're like, where fucking Michael Jackson or whatever has kidnapped your fucking bunny, and you're just like, oh no, we gotta get him, and then, yeah, that was, uh, that game was something else. Okay, what's down this... What the hell did I just hear? Yeah, you know what? I'm probably going... To... Hey, buddy. Okay. So there's definitely... Oh, boy. There's a couple of zombies down here. Um... I feel like there might be something over there. Okay, hold on. Do you actually see me? Okay, no. That zombie actually, like, straight up sees me. Uh... That's a bit of a problem. Okay, but so but the zombies, at least that one is slow. Alright, you know, if, if they're slow zombies, I should still be okay. Okay, I need... It's locked, but the chains look flimsy, so I'm gonna need, like, a... I'll need some sort of a tool to break them. Yeah, I need something to break it with. Oh, I'm... This is, this is definitely making me unnerved. Yeah, so I mean, definitely, definitely good atmosphere. Just kind of first impressions here. Um, yep, I, I knew there was going to be something. I fucking knew it. The game couldn't help itself. I knew there was going to be some sort of nonsense happening. What's behind this door? Well, there's a fucking skeleton. What the hell? Okay. It won't open. A gear is... Oh, okay, that's... Yeah, I saw... Oh, that... Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, I feel like that shouldn't do that. This, uh, this gear icon, it, it doesn't fade when it's lit. Yeah, I feel like the gear I... Oh. Oh, okay. My, my thing broke. Um... Oh. Oh, that's weird. When you press and hold shift, even if you're standing still, look at that. Yeah, your stamina meter goes down. That's strange. Why would it do that? Okay, what, what is this? Hold on, what did I just find? A rather large battery. Okay, so I need... So I found something that requires a large battery. I'm going to imagine it doesn't go in these big breaker boxes. What do we got? No. Oh, fuck. Wait, did that... Oh, okay, I guess that damaged me somehow? Hold on, does my health regenerate or is this... Oh, don't, don't tell me that I'm going to be stuck with this the entire fucking time because I got like a suck. Okay, no. So the health does regenerate good. Yeah, I was, I was going to say that would be really frustrating if you had to, if you had to deal with that the entire fucking time because you like stub your toe basically. All right, so let, let's see. Sealed the shut, uh, yeah, the shut sealed door in the lower tunnels. Yeah, so for that I'm going to need a padlock. 
And I'm also going to, or I'm going to need a bolt cutter or a Oh, hey, buddy. Okay. Um, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I mean, if, okay. If the zombies are slow, that makes them far, far less threatening. Because I really just kind of need the juke around them. Okay, that should be fairly doable. Although I, I guarantee there's going to be at least one zombie type that's fast, like that crawling asshole. Also, can I really not jump over this? Okay, that's weird. Um, can't really say I like that. Yeah, because I'm not able to, like, jump over those ties, even though I, I definitely can get the verticality for it. Yeah, I'd, I'd really want to see that changed. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do this. So, there was another comment somebody had left at one point, and it said that they didn't realize the zombies could follow you forever. So does that mean that once a zombie is aggroed to me, that's it, GG, just that zombie will always be going after to go bite me in the ass? I kind of hope not. Okay, I can't, I can't go jump onto there, so I have to find an open car. Yeah, I kind of hope that isn't the case, because that would feel... <clears throat> that, that would just feel very, very strange to me, I guess I'd say. Yeah, if like... If you just can't under any circumstance lose enemies okay this is nerve-wracking as well um <clears throat> okay what is this hold on let me let me go just read this okay sheet of paper the numbers four four five six written on it can I okay I only have I only have one no yeah, so, okay, that's actually something else that's kind of strange, too. So, like, what happened to these... Oh, god damn it. Did this fucking zombie get in here? Son of a bitch. Um... Can I bail? Okay, yeah, I, I can jump out. Good. Uh, what was I saying, though? Uh, yeah, so did, did these people just, like, end up somehow on a... Did they just end up on a train that, like, got stuck? Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, alright, so yeah, there, there's definitely places that these zombies will be a risk, they'll be a danger. I'll be curious to see if they insta-kill me though, or if they... If they just like, take a bite and then I can run away. So like, how many hits can I actually take... ...from enemies... ...before I get into the danger zone, basically? Alright, let's keep on going and see, okay, what is this? We started running low on provisions. The people are starting to panic. I have no idea why this line was put out of operation, but there's clearly something fishy about all this. I still believe there's an exit and someone will come to our rescue. Okay, so that's my second of nine notes. Yeah, I mean, okay, so... Like, this is really, really simple, but I'm actually kind of digging it. This is, uh... This is kind of cool. I'm liking the atmosphere. I'm liking the game here so far. This door is sealed. Let's see what I can do. I uh, can't interact with you. Can I interact with you at all? I need a fuse. It needs to be repaired. Hold on. Okay, so I just got to... I, I completed the inspect the Tokra Street Station, repair the control unit, open the sealed door in the tunnel. But this is an optional one. Okay. Hmm. All right. Where the hell did the zombie go? Oh, it's all the way down there. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was interesting. Oh, God. Um, can I go up and over? Okay, good. I can. I can. Here, let's, uh, you know what? Let's go. Oh, wow. Okay, so that did, like, fucking nothing for my... Yeah, that did basically nothing for my hydration. Holy shit. Okay, that was... That's surprising. Alright, so there's nothing I can do here. Yeah, I guess let's, let's just go check all of these little side tunnels, because maybe one of them will have something. Um... One day I'm gonna fucking put in the... T one day I am going to learn Cyrillic, just so I can fucking read it. Because I'm tired of playing these games that are, like, kind of cool little indie games, but they all have Russian writing that I can't fucking read. I'm tired of it. Oh, God. Looks like he was murdered recently. Okay, what does that do? Uh, that's a control panel, I guess. 
We're running out of food, the people are starting to feel unwell, and there's this weird fog. I've noticed a consistent pattern. The fog causes the feeling of hunger to go through the roof. It's better to stay away from it. Okay, so that's it. Nothing happens. The power is out. Um... Okay, so that's... Ah, uh, fuck me. Yeah, whore. Okay. Oh, god. Oh god, okay. Almost got pinned there. Um... Yeah, okay. No, that's, uh... Oh, hello. Other door. Alright, let's fuck it. Let's go see you. Yeah, so there is a power system that apparently has no power. There is a... Bunch of bullshit. Can I... Yeah, you know what? I think uh, this is something that is also fairly endemic to Unreal games. Like, try not to make this so fucking blinding. Because it's very, very annoying to have to actually deal with. Like, it's it's just, it's kind of tedious, because, like, then I, I basically have to rely on, you know, either peripheral vision, which isn't really as good, or, in my opinion, isn't as fun to look at in terms of gameplay. You know, like, if I have to basically always kind of, oh, hello, yeah, if I have to look at stuff, like, over there, it, it always just sort of gets in the way, I guess. No, no, that's not the right word. It always just kind of feels awkward. There may be some water left in the sink. Ah, oh, fuck it, why not? Anything in any- oh, hello. Okay, I got a crowbar as a weapon. Or no, okay, I could try to break something, use it, or use it as a weapon. Okay, cool. Um, let me see. Okay, so, let's... Alright. Oh, god, okay. Nope, zombies hit pretty fucking hard. Uh, let me... How many hits do you take to die, lady? Jesus Christ. Okay, never mind. Um, fog, it's becoming harder to breathe, I'm not getting enough air, and I feel hungry. Yeah, no, fuck that, we're, we're getting out of here. Alright, so, you know what? Weapons? Kinda worthless. Yeah, that, uh, that, that weapon use system kind of felt useless. And I'm not entirely sure as to what the point even really is of it. I don't think that it, I don't really think that you're ever going to convince me that it would be worth it to get into a fight with these things. Okay, um, really quickly, I guess. No food left. People are looking at each other's suspicion. I've just heard some noise behind one of the sealed doors. The door is open. We're going to get rescued. Oh dear. Okay, so these are... Projectives updated. Um... I don't really know what changed. Open the passage to the Revolutionary Square Station. Oh, hello. Okay, I just did something... with the battery. What just happened? Okay, hold on. You know, so, actually, is, uh... There's nothing here? Ah, fuck. No, what, what did that just do? Hold on. Is there a... I can't look at anything here. There's no, like, I can't really trace a wire anywhere. Um... Oh, okay. Find a way to turn on the generators over the sealed door in the passage to the Revolutionary Square Station. That's completed. Oh, was that the, uh... Oh, I got an achievement. Electrician. What is that? That is just launch the power generators? Okay. Yeah, here, let me go, uh... That was, like, across the way, right? Also, god, yeah, my food is fucking terrible. Alright, and I'm gonna close that out. Yeah, it is kind of weird. The game, like, locks you in when you activate stuff like that. So you really don't have, uh... Yeah, it locks you into, like, doing an animation, so you have to manually close it out. But it's not like the game forces you to to actually do the animation, then. The hell? Okay. I heard a rat. Um, kinda wish that my health would recover a little bit more. Does my health only recover, like, when I'm at max or something? Is that what's going on here? I, I don't know. I feel like it didn't take this long last time to recover my health, but... Maybe I'm just incorrect, but okay. What is that noise? Don't really know. Not sure I want to know. I think I just want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I think it was this door, right? It was the door down here at the end. I think this is the one that it was like, hey, the power's out, dipshit. 
Come on, come on, come on. Let's go see. Oh, uh, I think it was through this, right? Ah, fuck. No, it wasn't. What on earth? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm I'm rewi- Oh, okay. So I had to, like, rewire this? So it wasn't a fuse. It was a rewiring. Hold on. What did I just do? Repeat the repair the control unit and open the sealed door in the tunnel. Okay, I just got another achievement, Jack of All Trades. That's uh, repair the electronics at the door. I'm not liking the fact that my health still hasn't gone up yet. I'm also really not liking the fact that I heard, like, a zombie moan on the other side there. And I also know for a fact that there are zombies chasing me, so if this could hurry the fuck up, that would be very much a fuck appreciated. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay, so... We're not even close to getting the hell out of here. So no, what was the uh, what was the Revolutionary Square Station then? Can't like rip a yeah, I can't rip a I can't rip a valve wheel off of anything here. Looks like which sucks. Who boy almighty. Okay. Yeah, it's it has some really nice atmosphere. I'll, I'll give the game credit on that. It is a little bit simple. Um, there's some stuff that I'm not particularly crazy about at the moment, but. Overall, this is actually, yeah, this is actually halfway competent, which is a uh, pretty high praise for most indie horror games. You know, there's, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll try to refrain from passing any more judgment until after, until after we're done here. All right, so Revolutionary Square Station. Is that where we? Oh no, okay, that that opened up. That was opening up the sealed door. Well, where was the sealed door to Revolutionary Square, though? I don't remember where... Yeah, I don't actually remember. Where was that? Okay. There is good news and bad news. The good news is the gas mask does work. However, what I saw and felt when I came back to the station made me shudder. There's an awful smell in the air. Blood and half-eaten corpses were everywhere. The survivors resembled humans only remotely. Okay, so I need a gas mask, I guess? Okay, sure. Um. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what I just realized? Shit, I completely misunderstood the, uh, the thing with the chains. I bet the game... Hello, what did I just get? The computer is on. Strange. Okay. Can I do anything with it? No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Game? I... Okay. I don't know what the hell just happened, so I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here first and foremost. Great, the password is accepted. Oh wait, is that because I found that fucking note that said 4456? Is that what that was? Um, maybe, I guess? Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck feeling very fucking confused right now. That's kind of where I'm at. But no, the, uh, there, there was that one set of chains, right? Oh, god. Okay, nope, we're not going here, because I feel like that will probably get me killed. Unless, can I... Nope, okay, no, no matter what happens, I just end up screwed. Oh, goody. Yeah, so we're not going down here until I find a way to lower this radioactive water level. Fuck, yeah, okay. Oh, oh yeah, and it looks like the zombies move normally in there, so yeah, getting stuck there is basically a guaranteed death sentence. But no, the chains at the top of the stairs... Those were, uh, yeah, they were like, hey, they look weak. I thought we'd have to break them. No, I bet I could have smashed them with this. Damn. Well, you know what, if it, if it turns out that I do end up dead, I can, uh, I can try to remember where this was, and... Yeah, I might go ahead and give it a shot. I might go ahead and see if I can go up there and, and break this. Also, I hope my, my voice is coming across okay. The, uh, for, this was another one of those games that just for some reason it, like, starts on my second monitor. And I don't really know how to how to force Steam to. Okay, that's spooky. Yeah, I don't really know how to force Steam to like let games run on the other monitor. So yeah, I. What the fuck? Why was there just? Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Um. Okay, this is, this sucks. Oh no, yeah, I am so fucking dead. Um, what just happened? Why? Okay, that was weird. 
I tried to jump over something and then the game just like yeah was like ha ha get good um okay wait so there we can save our game here what really okay that's not something I remember seeing anything about is it like an autosave system or huh okay let's let's see if the game crashed when I tried to hit this or not okay no it looks like we're actually wow we actually might have this game might actually have a semi functional save system that's uh that would be fascinating all right, well, okay, so I, I know a little bit better now, so what I want to do first and foremost, I want to get as much food as I can, and I want to get my hands on the crowbar. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go see if I can go do this quickly. Yeah, it's a, this is a very interesting idea. Um, yeah, and so that was the, so that was probably one of the immortal monsters then, that was the guy who's been leaving us the notes. Yeah, he was like, hey, guess what, guys, gas mask, wahoo. And I was just like, yeah, cool story, bro. Okay, so there's that. That's our first objective. We have to inspect the station. Oh, God. Okay, no, not this fucking gas again, son of a bitch. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and we have, uh... We have our first experience with the, uh... With the constant red fog. God, I really hope that... I hope that doesn't last forever. I genuinely hope it doesn't last forever, just because it's so... Yeah, okay. So, that's weird then, though. It didn't look like my health was ever changing. Yeah, it didn't look like my health was ever changing with the, uh... With the other attack, when I was really heavily damaged. So, like, do I only regenerate a little bit of health? Oh, boy. Okay. That's worrying. Um... Great, so there's like a fucking spooky nun. That's not cool. I am not a fan of that. Alright, where was the... Where did I find the crowbar? Yeah, it was like... It was on the other side, right? Wasn't it up here and then there was a... There was a little stairway or something I ascended and then we were good? Yeah, I think it was down there. Yeah, it's just past this asshole. So yeah, let's uh, let, let's see if I can go get it again. So I think it was... Ah, fuck me. Where was it? Might be some water left in the sink. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, here's, here's the crowbar. And I think I wanted to... Wasn't there... Was this not the place? This was the... I thought this was the pl- oh no, you know what I think it was? Yeah, this is where I put the battery in. And because I don't have the battery currently, I can't put it in. Where did I get the battery at? Okay, can I- okay, I can juke around him, good. Well, fuck it, you know what, I know exactly where I want to go right now. We're gonna head back kinda towards the start and we're going to- I'm gonna use this to break those chains. <clears throat> Just looking around to see if there's anything else, but no. Yeah, okay, so this is a much larger game, definitely, than I expected. And let me see, can I... Yeah, there is no, like, there is no save. Oh, hello. We've spent three days trying to find an exit, but all the tunnels are either shut down or collapsed. No one has come to rescue us. Uh, yeah, wouldn't, uh... I, I feel like eventually somebody would be like, Hey, we're missing an entire fucking train, right? Wouldn't that be a thing? Or is that just not a thing in Russia? Are people just normally like, eh, whatever, at tragedies? Like, I'm, I mean, that would genuinely be unsurprising for me, given what I've heard about Russia, but... Okay, you're just a normal asshole. You are... Oh, hey, another note. Running out of food, they're feeling unwell. Oh, okay. So the notes themselves are actually semi-randomized in location. Interesting. Alright, cool. Well, you know what? Let's go... Yeah, I don't think it was this way that had something. I think it was... Yeah, I believe it was down. I can go grab this. And then... Okay, yeah. So I, I have to use this to break this. You know, I normally wouldn't be a fan of this as a mechanic. And it does kind of add a little bit of slowness to this. <clears throat> but at the same time, it actually... It does add a little bit of... Uh... God damn it. It does make you plan a little bit. 
you know, it does go ahead and it forces the player to, like, actually think about things. That being said, I kind of wish the game would tell us that that's going to happen. Okay, I guess... This is just nothing, I guess. I don't know... Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I don't, don't want to get blasted in the face with a bunch of steam, because we all know my reputation working with things that are steamy. Yeah, that's uh, a good way to get dead, basically. Hmm. Okay, well that was a complete fucking wash. So is this semi-randomized in terms of, like, what routes are possible? Or... What's behind this door? That's a really good question. Can I... I can't... Oh, God. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, I can't, like, break that in or something. I can't get anything from it. But yeah, so our... Our... our yeah. So it looks like maybe major item locations are not random. But our normal item location... Or our uh, common item location semi-random. That'll be curious to see if that's the case. Because I feel like some of the food that I found is in the same spot, but... Admittedly, I'm not looking nearly as carefully as I was last time. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. So we broke down that, so I know there's nothing there. Uh, I have the... Uh, what do I need? I need, like, a... Well, no, I guess I can go back to where I got this, can't I? Yeah, I can go back where I got this, this crowbar. I can go put... I can go put the, the uh, battery there. And then I can go see what, yeah, what possible ending I get that way instead. Yeah, okay. Because I think that was, what was it? It was something about, yeah, open the passage to the Revolutionary Square station. I don't really know where Revolutionary Square is, but I guess that probably matters a lot less than I think it does. Oh, god damn it, really? Yeah, this, this was actually one of the things that had me a little bit worried about these, these tunnels. Is that zombies would be able to, like, get you trapped in here. Yeah, okay, so if I go do this, let's go give you a pull. Okay, so... Okay, open the sealed door in the passageway to the Revolutionary Square station. But sealed door in the passageway, I don't remember which passageway that is. Which one was Revolutionary Square? Is that the, uh... Hmm. God, yeah, I guess... You know, this is another case where I really fucking wish I could read Russian. Um... It's not this, right? Open the sealed door in the passage. Hmm. Man says, open the passage to Revolutionary Square. So there must just be a... There must just be, like, a doorway somewhere, maybe, that I can get? Yeah, there there must be. There must be somewhere that I can go to get that. Otherwise... Hmm. Maybe it's this one. I, I don't remember, because, yeah, obviously I was only half paying attention because I was more concerned about the zombie mechanics. Uh, is this a door that I can open, maybe? No, there's no switch or anything. Ah, shit. Alright. Well, let me go see. So, it probably wasn't anything down here, was it? Yeah, god, when, when did I even learn about Revolutionary Square Station? I feel like I learned about it. That was the one that I, uh, the door that I opened last time, wasn't it? Or am I just insane? God, yeah, I don't remember. Shit. Okay, well, hold on. Where was the... There was a computer station that I could go to, right? Where was that? There was that... Yeah, there was that computer station that I could put in this random password. I think the... Yeah, the 4456 or whatever password. Hmm. I want to say it's over here. God, yeah, I, I genuinely don't remember. I just, I, I have so little memory of all this, because it all kind of just starts blending in together. Yeah, you know, maybe I should have gone ahead and played this with only, uh... Hello. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should have only gone ahead and played this with, like, one immortal, or no immortal enemies or something, just to give myself a fighting chance, but... You know, I, I already did it, and there's nothing I can do to change it now. Uh, let's... 
see, so I pull you. Okay, what did that just do? That powered something. Oh, hold on. Is that the is that the big main door? Oh shit, it is. Okay. Here, let's uh you know, while I'm kind of looking, let me just go take a munch of some canned food. Okay, okay, nice. Yeah, let's uh can we Okay, cool. I can sneak underneath here. All right. So this is Revolutionary Square, and it leads down, which is the exact fucking opposite of what I want. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> what? Why is there just like this sealed zombie-filled station? Like, you're not fucking telling me these zombies aren't killable. I'm, I'm allegedly able to beat them to death with a crowbar, so it's not okay. Yeah, so it's not like they're really that fucking dangerous. Okay, so there's normal guys. Oh wait, is fucking is Revolutionary Square just the same shithole that I ended up in last time? Yeah, god damn it. Okay, well here, let me go... Yeah, let me just kind of stick around here. But okay, if it's not the exact same, it certainly feels very, very similar. And I didn't really get a chance to explore a ton of it, obviously, because I got fucking murdered by that asshole with a gas mask. No, I'm pretty sure this is legitimately identical. Yeah. Okay, so if I need to go back upstairs, I just go that way. Uh, can I go... Nope, this is the same. Okay, so yeah, we, we actually ended up here last time. What was that? Oh, fucking A. God damn it. God damn it, you gas mask asshat. Okay, ah, fuck it. Ah, can I... Okay, that uh, attack animation is a bit fucky, but alright. Let me go try to run the hell away. Do you still chase me? Oh good, you're still chasing me. Okay. Yeah, pretty sure I'm completely fucked here. Okay, that's a service room, but I can't really do anything with it. Uh, I guess let's just go here? Yeah, uh, okay. I'm, so I'm, I am just actually completely fucked then. That kinda sucks. Yeah, go away, fucker. Makes sense to inspect this train. Okay, you realize that we have bigger things to fucking worry about right now, man, right? Oh dear. Okay, nope, I'm gonna die. Yep, I am going to end up dead because I can't do anything with this. Ah, shit, really? Oh, that fucking sucks. Um... Huh. You know what? Let's give it one more try. Yeah, this, uh, it, it's, it's an interesting game, but it's kind of giving me, like, very... It's giving me the same vibe that a lot of extremely difficult indie games do, where they're just, like, they're not super well made. Which isn't to say that this is badly done, it's just, like... It just was made by indie developers. So they just didn't really get a chance to think everything through, and... You know, there's lots of little things that kind of screw you over. So yeah, like, I want to know what... Like, my big question is, what are you supposed to do if you're seen by a monster? You know, does the... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be a pussy. I'm going to back out. I'm actually going to... I'm gonna do this without the immortal monster, because I just want to see. I really like the world, and I like the atmosphere here. But I don't want... I don't really want to put myself in the position where it's like every time that I go down and I actually make progress, it's just a ticking timer until I come across the monster and then he just kills you. And that, yeah, that just kind of sucks because like your health doesn't seem to recharge once you reach a certain threshold. And that's just kind of not fun because of the fact that then you not only have like the constant throbbing thing, but like you can't even... You can't really even go ahead and recharge your health to, like, survive another hit. You're just kind of screwed over. I mean, and admittedly, I could be completely way off base. I could be way out of line with this, and it turns out that there is a way, and I'm just completely missing it. I haven't found it yet, so maybe it's just later in the game, but... 
yeah, the, uh, I don't know, some something about it just, it doesn't feel particularly great to have the infinite enemy, or the immortal enemies in play. But I, I guess I'll just have to go ahead and see. So yeah, let's just top off on this. So I think first things first... Yeah, yeah, he's gonna go ahead and do that. I wanna go get the code to the computer. I want to get the code to the, uh, or the password to the computer. And then once I have that, I can go ahead and I can... I just realized that I actually left a, uh... Okay, so yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, so that guy was murdered recently here, apparently. Huh. And what did I just get from him? A fuse. An electric fuse. A unique item impacts your way of playing throughout the game. Interesting. Okay. So is the fuse going to go somewhere... kind of important, then? Alright. What is that noise? I don't really know. Yeah, the uh, the noises that kind of play are definitely definitely a little disconcerting. I'll, I'll say that. Although I'm still not really sure as to how they work. I also think that this game is one of the games that would oh oh so the battery isn't here this time. Okay, yeah. So there there is some level of randomization to it. There is a level of yeah. There's a level of making the player explore. Okay, I like that. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, let me see if there's anything else up here. Oh. Oh wait, no. Maybe maybe the battery wasn't there. Maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking of something else. No, I'm pretty sure the battery was there. Um, but yeah, if if I could have something else, I'd really just rather have an infinite sprint. Like I get that it would probably wreck the game in some sense, but honestly, this the lack of sprint given how quickly it recharges and how fucking fast you go. That's never going to be the thing that gets you killed by the zombies. You're either going to get pinned by a zombie, in which case you're going to die no matter how much sprint you have, or you're going to get murdered by, like, the in the insta-kill creatures. So yeah, I, I guess maybe you need it for them? Well, okay, not the insta-kill creatures, but the immortal ones. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah, the, uh... Those, those assholes like the guy with the gas mask. Yeah, okay, so if I go put this here... Yeah, no, that, that won't work yet because I don't have power to this. Yeah, nothing happens because the power is out, so I gotta go this way and turn on the power. I just want to make sure that there's no food items or any other... any other bullshit around here first. Yeah, I also don't really understand what the point of the food thing is. Like, does that affect how your... How your stamina worked? Did it explain it and I just missed it? No, you just have a hunger meter for some reason. Yeah, and the game's just kind of like, okay, I guess you're you're a bit thirsty now. Sure, I guess. No, I, I still don't really understand what that's supposed to do, but all right. Okay, so normal zombies. Yeah, yeah, that's just that, so let me close that off. Okay, so yeah, so now I can go ahead and I can open up the passage to Revolution Square. Anything else I can do? No. No. Ah, hell. Hmm. I'm good. So, where else could I go? I guess, yeah, we can go down and I can go... I can go check that area that's padlocked off. I still want to know where you get the valve wheel to open up that one door, though. Like, presumably that's going to be pretty far down below, and then we're just going to have to go... Yeah, we're just going to have to go, like, get it? Okay, same note. And then there should be one over here, right? I, I, just, I just want to get all of the notes that I can, so that I... Yeah, so that if I do need those to, like, actually beat the ending, I'm not stuck wandering around like an asshole. Yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see an infinite sprint. At least on, like, easy mode or something, just because... Yeah, like, having just a stop for about two seconds every so often, it... It does add a... It's mo it mostly adds tedium to the game. Okay, so I don't actually need that equipped to use. What the hell? Why... Okay. I... 
guess? What? Why does it keep stopping? Or... Oh. Okay, that's strange. Wait, what? I can, I can re-break the padlock? What the hell? Can I take the padlock and use it to beat my enemies? Can I make, like, a flail attached to my crowbar? Okay, that was weird. Uh, let's see. Is there any actual reason to go down here ever? Nope. Looks like a big bag of precisely fuck all. Oh, God. So, yeah, it's, it's very odd. Like, the game... The game actually locks my cursor onto the middle of my right monitor, because this is playing on my left monitor. See, so yeah, I don't know if that's, like, something innate to Unreal, or if that's some bug with the game engine, or... Yeah, I, I, that I don't really know. <clears throat> but, okay, so what did I need to do to get the... What I needed, like, wire in something, right? Didn't I need a wire to open up the other door? And I think I found some wire just, like, randomly out here, didn't I? It was, like, chilling out somewhere? Let's see. Nope, that's just a can. Yeah, okay. So I'm I'm just thinking of something else then. Uh, yeah, let's go... Let's just go ahead and open up the door to Revolution Square, I guess. Alright, cool. So, with that being open... Let's see... Yeah, you're gonna go ahead and start screeching and, like, screaming and everything else, and that'll open that up. I... what was the station... what was this station door called then? Because the, these both led to the same place, so I don't know why there is... The door is sealed, let's see what I can do. Oh. Oh, wait, because I found the fuse, does it... Repair the control unit and open the sealed door in the tunnel, that's optional. Oh, okay, so this is... Yeah, so that must be, like, because that's optional, so that's just a second way of doing things. Oh. Wait, does that mean, then, that at some point I had apparently picked up the fuse last time and I just never noticed? I mean, I guess so, right? That's kind of what the game is saying. It's like, hey, idiot, you somehow picked up a fuse, and then just, like, I never moused over it. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? Doesn't really matter. Let's uh, let's go on through to Revolution Square. Let's go see what else we can find. As long as there's no bullshit, like, infinite, really fast gas mask guy, I think we'll be okay. Hey, what are you? It was hell. There wasn't anyone behind the sealed door, but there was lots of fog. No idea where it's coming from. The people became like beasts. They attacked each other, tore each other's clothes, and bit each other's flesh. It's a miracle I managed to run away and hide in a room. Never in my life have I witnessed something as horrible. Yeah, okay, so these guys were not having a particularly fun time. Alright, tell me... Actually, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna just equip my goddamn crowbar. Tell me that there is a way to get the hell out of here down here. Alright, so there's normal guys. You know what, I haven't really gotten a chance to explore too much on this side, I think. So I kind of make sense to inspect this train. Again, I don't really understand why he says that, but sure, buddy. Yeah, you do you. You go you go be your you go live off your childhood dream of being a train inspector, I guess. Okay, so there's nothing I can do on these. Um So yeah, why why does the game tell me to inspect this? Yeah, I can't like I can't bash in a window. Is there something I have to find the key and restore the power supply, then I'll have a chance to get out of here using this train. Okay, that's what that is. Oh god, okay. Please don't make me go into the water with the zombies. I, yeah, because I mean that would feel like just so shitty. Just, I mean, considering how fucking slow you are against these sons of bitches, like, that, that just would be so not fun. Is there anything down here? Anything I can use? Yeah, I, I can't even use my sprint down here. I can't really... Yeah, I can't run either. Oh, okay. Well, so there is there is some reason to go up here, I guess. Or there is something, at least. Or is this just a complete fuck you waste of time? Or is this a question for the RNG, maybe? 
Yeah, I bet this is an RNG thing where there's there might be something here. Or there might not. Okay. Well, that fucking blows. But, alright, let's, uh... Don't understand how I'm standing in ankle-deep water when I'm out of the water, but I guess... I guess physics works differently in Russia, I don't know. Maybe I'm perpetually drunk on vodka, and we just have to, you know... Not. Like, we can't lift up our feet. I, I don't know. So... Where did I... Is there anything down here? Not that I'm seeing, and not that I'm going to go risking. Aw, oh, shit. Oh, don't both of you assholes come here. God damn it. You fucking whore. Alright. Yeah, let's let's go this way instead. Yeah, man, I, I really hope they're not, like, expecting me to just go wade around in the water looking for shit, because... I, I'm pretty sure that's just like an outright death sentence if you do that. And okay, yeah, so that, that guy with a gas mask was an immortal monster, and... Yeah, I'm generally not really a fan of those in games. Not because I think that they're, like, inherently cheap or anything, I just don't... I don't know, I just don't really like them, I find them kind of... I don't know, tedious maybe? The hell? Why is that zombie just standing there? I guess she just didn't see or hear me or something? Maybe? Okay, probably should get off the tracks, but yeah, here, let's go check out this first, then we're gonna go down the creepy-ass tunnel. Okay. What do we got here? Please, God, tell me there's a key into power supply. Or, or just one. I'd settle for just one. <coughs> Sorry, I was really trying to prevent myself from sneezing there, and that didn't work. Yeah, nope, nope, this is just a big old pile of dicks, I guess, and that's what I just get to go eat. Nothing but dicks. Great. I... I can't even crouch in the water. Okay. Yeah, so this is... Oh, wait, hang on. Can I... Can I jump from here, maybe? I thought, like, maybe I'd be able to go crawl in there, but no, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like this is just another place that's, uh... Completely worthless, I guess. Yeah, I definitely can't do anything. I just I noticed that I was crouched. I wanted to see if maybe like I needed more speed. Oh well. So, onto the uh onto the tunnels, I guess. The weird flooded tunnels. What is up top here first and foremost? Okay, there is some spooky scary skeletons. There is a drink, which actually, you know what, yeah, let me, uh, let me just take a quick sip here, go ahead and hydrate a bit. What about down... Okay, so that's, that's a gas mask, that must be where he got his gas mask. Yeah, it is kind of weird too, like, it all... If I hold my sprint button, it plays like the sound of me sprinting, kind of? Like, you can hear it go faster? Ah, shit. Yeah, you can kind of hear it go a little bit faster, but, like, it doesn't actually. So, yeah, and then it sometimes doesn't seem to pop, so I don't know. Oh, hello. Alright, well, I guess that was a total fucking wash, but maybe up here there's something... Yeah, here, let me, uh, let me go break through this shit instead. So, yeah, I think that last one just bugged out or something, because it looks like we have to go through the entire time, but it looks like it was just doing it in chunks. So, like, the first one I did, getting hunt harder to breathe, I'm not getting enough air, and I feel so hungry. Yeah, okay, so there's, like, there's definitely something going on with this weird... This is, like, a fucking bio... Okay, it's becoming really dangerous out there? What? Oh, game, don't fucking give me a line like that. God damn it, what is that? A crank, a handle used to open an airtight door manually. Oh, okay. So is that what we're going to use on that one door? Oh boy, it is foggy as fuck. Okay. Yeah, I see, this is an example of what I was talking about. I'm, I'm having, like, sprint sound effects, but not actually sprint speed. Um... I actually, I'm going, yeah, I'm running very fucking low on food, Jesus. Here, let me, uh, let me quick eat that up, but I need to get the hell going. Is this my way? 
Yeah, okay, maybe this'll... Yeah, maybe this will give me the uh, stuff I need. Maybe I can go ahead and crank open that one door that needed a valve. I really hope that's what that needs, otherwise I have no fucking clue what to do. Otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna have to go spend a bunch of time just looking for food items, and... Honestly, I don't really remember where I've already looked. You know, maybe it would be nice, too, if the player could have the option of, like, finding a gas mask of their own. Maybe that is something that we can do later, I don't know, but it would be nice to have a way of negating this fog effect. Because otherwise it just kind of... It just feels like it kind of punishes the player just for existing. Like, it just kind of adds a... I don't really want to say an arbitrary element, because it's not really... Okay. Cool story, bro. Um... I generally thought those things behind me were like an enemy coming at me. And I also just realized how fucking dark it is, Jesus Christ, in my, in my office. I'm gonna need to turn on a light soon, because this is a bit too spooky. And, uh... Yeah, I don't want to, like, see something out of the corner of my eye and fucking shoot it. It won't open, a gear is missing. Really? This isn't what I use? Okay, well that fucking sucks. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't really know where else to go. It said that there was an airtight door. Yeah, it's a, a crank handle to open the airtight door manually. Where did I even find another airtight door, then? Did I find an airtight door... Hmm. No, I, I genuinely don't know where I found one. Have I even found one? I thought that door would have been it. Yeah, that's a sealed shut door. But I guess it's not the one? Any other food items down here? No? Okay. You know, I wonder if on easy difficulty it doesn't actually kill you because of the, uh... Because of the food item? Or because of the lack of food? That, that would actually be really damn nice if that was just like another mechanic that they added in. Because that, that would definitely make this probably my preferred way to do this. Yeah, okay, so there is a... Where even is a sealed door? I know where there's the one door that I need to... Yeah, let me... Let, let's go on back up here. I just want to go double check in this area, see if there's anything else. Yeah, I know there's the... There's the door that needs a valve, or a gear, or whatever. For some fucking reason. We have this room here. This is like the generator power room. Which, for some reason, needed a car battery to function. Hmm. And now we need to... Yeah, we need to, like, crank open a door. Oh, uh, yeah, let me see if I can go juke around this guy quick. Okay, so can you... Yeah, come a little closer for me. Okay, and... There we go. Got around him, good. Yeah, so no, I must, uh... I must need to... Hmm. Yeah, I guess it has to be somewhere down here, right? Because I feel like I've kind of checked all of the places that are up here. So it has to be somewhere down here where there is... God damn it, you fucking whore. Oh, great. Can I... Yeah, I really... I can't, like, jump over that. That sucks. Yeah, let's go here instead. Alright. Oh, hey, Kavas. Nice. Well, no, it looks like my, uh... It definitely looks like my... My food was ticking down, it was just ticking down slower. But I still don't really understand what's even the point of the food meter. It doesn't seem to really do anything. Alright, so... First things first, let's just go check out here. Let's go... God, no, because yeah, I think that, that didn't lead to shit. Yeah, where is a sealed door? Where is a... Hmm. Yeah, where is, like, a sealed door? Where is a... Where is something that would need a hand crank to open it? I, 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 I can't even think of a single thing that I've found that would be like that. Unless it's, like, something down here that I've come across. No, that's literally just a... That's just a smiley skeleton. It's a skull. Okay. Alright, so you're gonna... You're gonna go out around there. You're gonna go around here. Let's go see, uh, I guess, the other side. Yeah, there has to be a... 
Where was that one service door? Was that it? Do I need to go use this on the service door, maybe? Ah, shit. That's really... Because uh, uh, I just looked at it and it was just like, the service door. But it doesn't tell me if that needed a crank or anything to open it. It just said it was a service door. Where was that? I feel like that was somewhere on this level, but I have no fucking... Yeah, I have, I have no particularly good reason to think that. Yeah, and I can't do anything here. Yeah, you still need a power unit and a key. I guess let's just go down this way? Yeah, okay, so I, I actually am not quite as slow as I thought it would be against the zombies down here. That's good. But no, this just gives us this. This just leads to here, and then there's back up there. I mean, I guess I can go back up there and double check. Maybe there is something I can crank up there. And if not, I'll head down that way, I guess, and see if there's something there instead. Yeah, it's... Oh, God. Please don't bite my ass. Please don't bite my ass. Yeah, you know, I really want to know, too. Like, what happened to these people? Like, okay, is this gas just straight-up zombie gas? Does it just, like, turn people into zombies? Does it... Ah, fuck me. Come on. Come on. Okay. Uh... Shit. Nope, there's nothing here. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna head on back down the tunnel that I had to open up with the... That I had to kind of pry open. Oh, God, yeah. Okay. I really hope there's something down here. Because otherwise, I'm going to be a little bit fucked to, the, to know what the hell to do. But no, it says it's to it's to hold the airtight, to open the airtight door manually. But I've only seen one airtight door. Yeah, so I found it, I didn't I find it like up there or something? I found it somewhere on this level. But yeah, there definitely hasn't been a... There definitely hasn't been an airtight door anywhere that I've been able to see. So I must have missed it. So I'm, I'm going to operate under the assumption that it is in fact a service door. Okay, where was the service door? Was the service door... I don't think it was down here. I think it was... Oh, God, it, I feel like it was on a, a thing like this. Where there is like some... Yeah, where there's, like, some elevation, and then I think I was able to run. Because didn't, didn't I come across it when I had the... When there was the big asshole chasing me? Yeah, the dude with the gas mask, wasn't he the one chasing me or something during that? Hello. Okay. Let's go around you, I guess. Oh, wait, is this the, uh... Is this the computer area? Yeah, this is. Okay, cool. Here, let me go... Let me go quick type this in. I'm still genuinely amazed at how long it takes this asshole to type in some stuff. But okay, that that did something. Okay, that did something that is presumably good for me. I can't really tell if it like turned on the lights, but are you food? Yeah, you are. Okay, cool. Um yeah, okay, I guess let's just keep on checking this area out and hope like hell, maybe? Yeah, that's gonna lead up. Oh wait, yeah, cause wasn't this the uh wasn't this the area that like I, I went to at the start or something? Nope, fuck off. Yeah, let, let me go follow this on up. I wanna go see where this leads. If this leads to a dead end, I'm probably screwed, but Yeah, this is the Okay, this is like a storage area. This is a storage area that is mostly full of propane and nothing particularly useful. Yeah, there's that destroyed door, and then wasn't there like a... Yeah, there's a skeleton here. I think there was a zombie here. Okay, and then that blows out. Huh. Yeah, I'm... Hello. Oh, wait, is this where I... Is this the other tunnel? Is this, like, the optional tunnel if I had opened it? Okay, maybe this is the optional tunnel if I had opened it. Yeah, let me, uh... Oh, hey, a gas mask. Nice. Okay. 
So I have a gas mask. Might come in handy while underground reduces stamina. Okay, so that's... That can be used to help minimize my loss from... Yeah, that can be useful for minimizing the loss from the gas, though. Alright, so yeah, they actually did add a gas mask in. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. I've been sitting in this room all day, but I'm wasting my time. I've dug through the stuff and found a gas mask. Maybe it can help me withstand the fog. I'm gonna I'm going, plan on going out of the room soon to try it out. Yeah, alright. The fog is getting thicker and restricting my visibility even more. My hunger is becoming unbearable. Ah, uh, shit. Where was... Oh, god damn it, you fucking slut. Go away. Um... Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, let's go this way. What, is, what am I looking for here? What? If I close the door, I could sleep here safely away. Okay. Okay, why can I not close this door, game? Oh, that's why. Okay, so it takes a while. Oh, really? So they're... Oh, yeah, that's right, because it did talk about the whole, like... Yeah, the whole thing about, like, sleeping to save. All right. Yeah, I, I completely forgotten about that. Fuck it. It's too dangerous to sleep for now where there's so many enemies around. What? Do I have to fucking lure them all away? It's a fucking bed, man. Ah, fuck it. Whatever. Let me guess. I'm gonna have to, like... Yeah, I'm gonna have to lure this bitch way the hell away. Is she stuck behind the door? No, she's not. Okay, I'm sorry. What? Well, there are so many enemies around. What enemies are you talking about, jackass? Okay, well, whatever. I'm gonna... Let's go put this on and let's just go see how this works. Uh, yeah, so I have... Okay, so that's... That's a save room. I'm not really sure that this really reduces my stamina that much, but I guess it does in some way. Otherwise, I'm going to feel like a real asshole for making you guys watch this, because this kind of looks like shit. Come on. Alright, so there's... That. This is, I think, the way I came from, right? Yeah, this is. So then, what was down this way? I think this was just another entrance into the area I already was, right? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what this is. Ah, <sighs> You know, this is... Fuck it, God damn it! move. This is... It's not bad. It's just very lackluster. Like, I feel like I need some kind of a map where I feel like there needs to be... I don't know, like, something a little bit better to indicate certain areas or something. I... Yeah, I, I just don't know. Yeah, it's it it, it feels like I, I'm just kind of getting bored with it, I guess. Because I don't really know where to go, and because I have to keep stopping every few seconds to go ahead and rest a bit, it just like... It, yeah, it just kind of makes you... It, it makes the game slow. And honestly, given, given most of the enemies are already really slow, this game doesn't need to feel even slower than it is. Which is a real shame, too. I mean, it's it's not a bad game by any means. It's just... Yeah, kind of like I talked about earlier. It, it It's suffering very badly from indie game-itis, more or less. Where there's just, like, some design choices that I'm sure made a lot of sense to the developer. And they were like, hey, this was my original vision. And again, kudos to them, right? You know, who am I to sit here and say whether or not their vision for a game is correct? But at the same time, it does sort of... Yeah, it, it is kind of just... Not interesting, I guess. And that really sucks, because I, I can look at this and I can see that, like, a pretty... A pretty decent amount of work went into this game by the developer. You know, they clearly had some sort of an idea, and they were just like, Hey, fuck it, I want to go ahead and make this. And yeah, I mean, really good job to them for making it and ostensibly coming up with an ending. But this is... Yeah, it's just kind of boring. And that kind of sucks, because I was uh, i had actually some pretty high hopes for this one. I just want to see. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else that I can think of going. But no, I think I've pretty much checked everywhere that a... Uh, everywhere that, like, the service door would realistically be. 
Yeah, and it looks like that's the only thing that I can think of being like a an airtight door. So it, unless unless this is somehow related to doing saves, and I've been running around trying to find a way to use an airtight door handle for no reason. That could be the case, unless, is this the fucking service door? I mean, I think this might be. This might have actually been the service door, because it was in an area like that, but I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, this is, uh, I, I, I can say I'm pretty disappointed. Not because this is bad, but because it's a really good idea with a really bad execution. And I feel like that's happened uh, quite often with a lot of these indie titles that have really solid core concepts that just... The developer doesn't really know exactly how they want to go ahead and, uh... How they want to go ahead and do them. Which kind of sucks. You know, there's, there's definitely... Yeah, definitely some good potential behind this. I... I would really want to go ahead and see... I'd want to go ahead and see this maybe with slightly more dangerous zombies, but like an actual stealth mechanic. Because like right now, there really isn't a reason to ever not have my flashlight on. You know, it's like, oh no, the zombies will follow me, but it's like... I've pretty much only taken hits from the zombies when they pin me into the wall. Or when I tried to attack the one and the zombie was like, haha, what the fuck are you doing, and then punched me in the face. Yeah, there really was no point where it was ever like... How long has she been lying here? Yeah, that's just that. Um, yeah. So I don't know, it's uh... Yeah. Maybe make the zombies faster and more dangerous, but make it so the player has less of a chance of like... getting pinned by them. Uh, clean up the crowbar a little bit to make it so the crowbar actually you can tell what the hell it's doing. Because like when I was swinging at it, it just didn't feel good to use. And it honestly kind of reminded me a little bit of like the classic Half-Life crowbar. We're just kind of making like these bopping noises as it hits something. And you just can never really tell what the hell is going on. Just take a quick drink here. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Yeah, and also, like, why why the save system just refuses to let me... Yeah, why the save system refuses to let me, like, do this, I... Yeah, I, I couldn't even save, which kind of sucked. But yeah, I don't know. It, it's a great atmosphere, a really cool core gameplay loop, a cool idea, and it has some real damn potential, but this was just kind of a... I don't know, this was a little bit of a letdown. I'm sure there's like some door somewhere that I'm just completely forgetting about or I'm just like walking past because it blends in. But yeah, I think like un unless there's something like that, I I don't know, I, I don't really think I know what the hell to do. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is end the video here. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.